Hey guys, it's me, Gia Gunn. And Miss Kimura Black. Happy, Happy Toronto, Toronto Fashion, Fashion Week. Week. And right now you're watching Q&A with... Lady K. Well, it's an absolute honor to be here with the two of you today. I'm literally like internally dying right now because I am a huge fan. So this means a lot. So thank you very, very much. Well, I really you. appreciate it. How did your experiences on RuPaul's Drag Race influence or impact the way you do drag today? Oh my God, I mean, for me personally, it's literally changed my whole entire life. I was able to not only find my, you know, authentic self and be able to live my authentic truth, but also um, it's just taught me to be me. And, you know, drag has really taught me to be stylish, to know how to handle last minute conflama, you know, fashion wise or hair wise or makeup wise. So drag, I think is just a great school for anyone that wants to be an efficient beauty influencer. <laughs> well, I mean, I can tag team on that as well. I mean, I grew up watching drag queens in local bars and when RuPaul's Drag Race aired, I was able to educate myself that there's so many more entertainers around the world and um, so many people in the underground world that is in entertainment that is so talented. And just for the show itself, it's just introduced me like there's just a bigger world than what we think it is. So um, I was really grateful to grow up in that legacy and be a part of the legacy. Now I'm standing here looking at the two of you. Your makeup is on point. Oh, great. Your hair puts mine to shame. Does anyone, like, do you ever master the art of drag? Or are you always learning, always evolving? I honestly think like anything else in life, we're always continuing to learn. And as soon as you think you know it all, I feel like you're not open to learning anymore. Um, life and um, drag are very, you know, hand in hand because I think they both just, you know, like life is drag and drag is life. I think drag represents so many things. Um, but no, I don't think there's any perfect drag queen or drag aesthetic. It's realistically, especially here in 2019, just whatever it is that you want it to be. Well, I mean, being creative, being spontaneous, being risky, being brave, and especially when it comes to fashion, I feel like there's never a deadline. There's never a finish line. You're always gonna keep going. And when you master a look that you want, you're gonna want more. So I'm excited to see where beauty and fashion and makeup and everything above where it's gonna be in the next few years. Was there ever an item or a makeup technique or anything that just you couldn't get the hang of? Like you just took forever to get used to? I mean, on season six, as everyone knows, I was the wonky eye queen. So maybe it wasn't a makeup thing. It was more like an eyelash application. Um, but I think I've mastered it now. I don't know, maybe. I think they're, they're, they're head on. Um, but I would say just applying lashes and just knowing how to work around like eyeliner and tearing and, you know, blending and just staying fresh. Well, she said my favorite word is blending. I think blending is really important. Um, I think blending like contour and eyeshadow and everything above is super important. I love clean, clean, no lines. You've co-hosted one of my favorite web series. Kimora, you actually hosted and you uh -huh. co-hosted oh with Kimora. God. Can we do it together? Wait, Wait what? what? In today's world, I think we all women need to stick together. And I know the two of you know each other very well. So Gia, what's one thing you admire about Kimora Black? And Kimora, what's one thing you admire about Gia? Who wants to start? Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, honestly, I think there's one only thing that I admire about my sister Kimora and that she's just like, she's a badass chick. Like she's super unapologetic about who she is. She's super in tune with like her boy side and her girl side. And to me, as someone that struggled with you know, finding my gender, I really look up to those drag queens that are just so clear of who they are and they're so, um, you know, just so certain. Um, her confidence level is amazing and she's just, she she's, she's like me, you know? We could be shady, we could be catty, we could be bitchy, but at the end of the day, it's like we own our bitchiness and us bitches gotta stay together. Always. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I love about her. Oh, I want me to cry. Um, I mean, Gia Gunn, I mean, I remember the first time she walked into the workroom, she had this big Chanel bag, and I was like, that girl is not only the first girl to walk with an actual ponytail, but she is giving me Kim K Kardashian down, and I automatically fell in love with her. I related to her through television, um, and just to see her journey from 
RuPaul's Drag Race to All Stars and her platform now that she's taking her career and her artistry and really sharing it and telling people that there's just so much more to this. And I love the fact that she is bringing the trans out and being an advocate, being a spokesman, being a representative for these beautiful people that not a lot of people represent in the future, in, in this time. So it's, I am excited to see the next 10 years. I'm excited to see where it goes. And she's gonna go down in history as the first open trans woman on the show. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's cut, cause I got a tear jerker. <laughs> and lastly, you both have gone through so much, yet you still continue to share your journeys publicly. And to me, that means brave. So in your hearts, what does the word brave mean to you? Oh God, you guys had literally the best question. I mean, hello. Thank you. I think being brave is willing to take risks, willing to be made fun of, willing to be judged, and just willing to to be you, whether that may be someone that you feel is super understood in this world or not. It's like, we're all here spreading awareness. We're all here trying to find our way through life. And you know, life is a self-discovery. So to me, you know, as a trans woman, I actually think trans people are some of the most bravest individuals on this earth because we have so many people who have such big misconceptions of who we are and you know what at the end of the day we're literally walking around with our chins up living our truth and all the haters are just not and that's what i would really like to change because i think that you know the key is education yeah. and education um you know is everything Bravery to me, I mean, not just to, you know, people in LGBT or, or straight or gay or whatever you want to call yourself. Um, I think bravery is a, it's a human feeling that a lot of people spend a lot of time really mastering. I mean, bravery is not being afraid to say I'm sorry. Being bravery is not is when's the last time you're at intersection saying hello to the person next to you. You know, bravery to anyone, it's just, it's just a huge word with a big definition that only you will ever know what that means. So basically overcoming your fears and apologizing and forgiving as I feel like that's just bravery. Well, I think anybody who shows the world their raw self deserves the stars. Yes. So Thank you so much for talking with Thank me. You. It's yeah. like, it's such an honor. I'm like, it's so surreal right now oh, to be so standing awesome. here. Aww, Give me your Thank outfit. you. <laughs> Next time I'll have to wear my six inch sparkly heels so Always. I can fit in. Men love it. <laughs> You know what, actually under these gowns, we have on our um, tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to give a big shout out to Charisma Agency for facilitating this interview. Oh hey, have you hit the subscribe button yet? Because I'd hate for you to miss more videos like this one.